He doing that for no reason, bro. Just go down the street. Hey, hey, hey. It's your girl Makeup Mood, and if you're new here, you're going to hit some sirens, and if not, you already know this tea stink. So today, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to look cute for your next Zoom meeting, your next interview, WebEx, Microsoft, Teams, or whatever it's called, whatever you need to be on the camera for. I'm going to show you how to look cute real quick. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, girl, we're going to make this quick, simple, and easy. So I'm going to go in with my Tatcha Moisture Reset Cream. Um, because we're not using a lot of products today, but I want my skin to look really healthy on camera. So, you know, let's put a little moisture in. So, I'm just going to uh, rub that in all over. Just so that my face can, like, have a really healthy glow. And I don't look dull, you know. You know, working from home. You ain't really getting no sunlight. You ain't really getting no vitamin D. You can look a little gray. So, girl, make sure you put your moisturizer on every day. Period. So, next I'm just taking the liquid um, silk canvas. And I'm making sure that's evenly distributed on my face. Um, you know, you can really skip the primer part, honestly, truly. But I'm just showing y'all the whole shebang. Uh-uh, what is this on my chin? Girl. Anyway, I'm just taking a clear brow gel, okay? Clear. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this is their little mini one. You know, if you try to save a coin, just get the mini. And we are going to brush the brow hairs upward. You know, I always do that. Brush them upward so you can make them look, you know, full, fluffy, and it looks like they're done, honestly, truly. Um, and with this look, I'm not going to put on no product on my brows. I'm not giving them. I'm about to be wasting all my product for this uh, meeting. I'm not. That bus is outside making too much noise. And I know my camera just picked it all up. Keep hitting the brake, boys. You going to go or not? All right, so now you want to take your skin toned concealer. I cannot stress this enough. If you want to keep this look really simple, listen to me when I say buy the concealer that's your shade so what i'm using is um mac and nc50 and i'm just going to cover i don't really have dark marks on my face but um i did break out right here uh, i'm going to say a couple of weeks ago and i've been trying to get rid of this mark on my face i don't like that so what i'm going to do is just put a little bit of my skin tone on top see that take your what finger is this called? Hold on, let me Google. What phalange is this called? Okay, thumb, index, middle, ring, little finger. Hold on. Ring. Oh, this is the ring finger. Okay. Take your ring finger because your ring finger has the lightest touch point. It's, it's a really weak finger, to be honest. So you just want to take that and press it in. Don't be wiping, okay? Press it in. Look, you can't even see no mark on my face now. See? Add a little bit more right there. Um, ring finger, okay? Press that in. Press, press, press. I'm gonna take that same concealer. We're not switching it up, okay? We going to actually I'm not even gonna use a brush. I'm gonna use my index finger as well to pick it up. Okay, your finger should look like this. I hope you can see because I can't see. I really need to get a monitor for this damn camera. So what I'm gonna do is um, basically press that under my eye because we got a little little darkness underneath. That's okay. That's normal. Um, just look up and press, press, press. In a U shape, basically, or C shape, whatever you want to call it. Pick up a, a little bit at a time. A li I tell y'all all the time: the less product you put um under your eyes, because your eyes naturally crease. The less product you put under there, the less likely it will crease. So you just want to literally pick up a little teeny bit of product and just press that. And we just want to hide the darkness. Look at that. 
And again, don't swipe. Swiper no swiping. Press that product in, like so. Now you see the difference between this eye and this eye? Period. Now you know what I always say, but you're doing this side, doing the other, so I'm looking up and we are going in a U or C shape. And also another tip, let's say you in the um, inner corner of your eye, you need to be looking the opposite way. And as you're coming across, look the opposite way, okay? Because when you do that, your mind basically tricks itself into thinking, oh, I'm not about to um, poke myself. Like, some people could be a little jittery or scared to be, like, so close to their eyes. But just look up and always look the opposite way of where your finger or your brush is. Basically, the goal is to look like it's giving fresh face. And dang, this girl look good at all times. Even if you're still working in the office, you can still do this. Okay. And can we talk about the office? Like, really working in a corporate office? Y'all, a lot of people um don't know, but I do have a corporate job as well. And when I tell you I do not like working there, I just don't. Um, and the only reason why I don't is because... <sighs> How do I want to say this? Older women in the workplace are so miserable it's not even funny girl so you know my lips are big so it kind of casts a little shadow so i'm gonna use that same be using the same nc50 and i'm just gonna put some over my lip because it's giving mustache and we don't want to give that so yeah i just feel like older women in the workplace are so mean and you would think like if you're not black watching this, you really don't understand. But being black in corporate America is not easy as it is. So when you have women who have um, a higher title, black women, black women at that, oh my God, who have a higher title than you and treat you like crap, it's really sad because you would think that an older black woman would see a young black woman coming into corporate America, right? And you would think she would put you under her wing and like, give you the do's and don'ts and you know help you grow into your career but I, I found working in corporate America is never like that I've never had I've never experienced a older black woman black woman be nice to me and I, I, I can't wrap my mind around why let me let the bus do its thing because girl I can't win it's either a siren or a bus or somebody yelling Anyway, you can use more product under your eyes if you want to, but I'm keeping it, I'm basically just showing y'all the quick, easy method, okay? Once you do that, I'm gonna take a little bit of um, the Laura Mercier translucent powder in medium deep. Baby, we don't have time for translucent honey today. I don't have time for games. I gotta meet in a couple of um, minutes, in like 30 minutes, but we gonna use um, medium deep to basically just set under the eyes and you could just really use um, any brush. Again, I'm gonna, um, I'm actually using an eyeshadow brush cause I'm being quick with this. But make sure you keep it smooth, like make sure it's not creased because how you set your concealer is how it's gonna stay all day. So if you set your concealer and it is it's already giving crease and you think, oh, the powder will smooth it out, baby, no it's not, it's not. So just make sure you go over with your ring finger again and smooth that out and then you know just press a little bit of powder on top just to set it for the day and again um I got, I'm gonna do a video on brushes but baby when I tell you I utilize all my brushes like people be, people be thinking you gotta have a certain brush for a certain thing and you don't you could really it's no rules like it's art be artistic play around with what, with what you have before you go running out to buy more products play around with what you have like I'm using an eyeshadow brush to set under my eyes Use what you have. Next, I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Deep. I, listen, I remember when MAC came out with this, bro. I was working it when they came out with this. This stuff is so good. It literally gives you that skin-like finish. So when I used to work at MAC, I used to have ladies come in all the time who wasn't, they liked makeup, they liked the look of it, but they just wasn't, they didn't feel confident enough to go home and put foundation on. 
So I used to sell the crap out of this, okay? When you buy this, if you feel like, oh, I'm not really into makeup, girl, just buy this and buy a dome. Not a dome. Yeah, well, you can do dome, but a dense brush. That's the word I was trying to use. He doing that for no reason, bro. Just go down the street. Girl, they blow me real bad over here. I swear. So anyway, yeah, if you go buy the mineralized skin finish, I recommend the MAC 109 brush. MAC me to come here check, period. But MAC 109 brush is my favorite. Um, a dupe for the 109 is the Morphe M530, which is what I'm going to use. Um, it's okay. I feel like it's not as dense as the MAC brush, but it's a good, cheaper alternative. So what you want to do is just pick up that product, and you don't want to, um, like... You can swirl it, but you lose it. Look, look at all that fly out. You, you lose it a lot. Just pick some up, like so, and buff your face. Put this on in circular motions. This is just going to give you an even, even, even skin tone. Um, the Morphe, I'm going to be honest, the Morphe brush is okay, but with the MAC 109, you could be done quicker. I promise. The MAC 109 with the mineralized. If any of my old Mac friends watching this, you know, girl, you know, that was the combo back then. But yeah, I'm just putting that all over. Um, and you just want to buff it. The good thing about this is that it's super lightweight. It's a, it's, it's mineral makeup. So you're not going to get that flashback. Um, if you take a picture. And you just look nice, even like your skin looks so healthy with this, especially if you moisturize with a really good moisturizer first. I'm gonna put a little bit um, right near my brows, but my forehead is always really dark, so I'm actually gonna go in with dark deepest because um, the dark deepest is a little bit more red than the dark. The dark is you know nice yellow shade, yellow undertone, but. Um, I don't want to look ashy on my forehead, so I'm going in with medium deep and buffing that just on my forehead. And then just to just, you know, give it a little, um, so my face doesn't look so flat. I'm just going to take a little bit of the um, dark deepest and just put it on my cheeks. Not necessarily contouring or bronzing, but it's just... Um, just giving me a little extra love. Like I always say, when you of are darker complexion, your skin tone is not even. You just not you're not one even shade. Um, we have different tones and shades to our face, hyperpigmentation, all of that. So, you know, just play around with it. So I did mess up my brows a little bit. This is why I used clear. So I'm just gonna go back in with that clear gel and just fix what I messed up. Now, I'm not going to add blush or highlight because I'm not blushing at none of these folks. And um, I think highlight could look like you're doing a little too much. The moisturizer is going to give you that natural glow. Um, so, we just want to keep it cute like that. Next, what I'm going to do is just take some mascara. I love saying mascara. Girl, where's my mascara? Oh, here we go. And we're just going to style your lashes like you like them. Be keeping it cute because like I said the older ladies in the office be giving hater so I'm petty I'm gonna give you something to hate on because it don't even be it don't even be no tea it don't even be nothing to hate on or be rude about bro we are at work clock in do your little eight hours and go home like I don't even understand it's not it's really not hard to be kind and nice especially at work like we spend if you think about it we spent majority of our day at work we spend more time at work you know what i'm saying around our our colleagues than we do our friends so in my mind i'm just thinking why why this just can't be a peaceful situation like why you just why you gotta be rude girl i got so many stories but we, we I'm, I'm gonna keep the stories coming because people really be trying me at work like and i don't get it i just be looking like are you okay like which one get no cutty last night anyway um I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes as well. Be careful. I know y'all like the rush. If you want to rush, just don't do the bottom lash because it'll be just your luck. 
you get a bloop, a glop on your face. Take your time. If you don't have the time, just only do the top. Look at that. We look cute. We look so cute already. Now, I do have a lip mask on like I always do, but I don't, I just don't like for my lips to look dry. So, I am going to add just a little bit of clear gloss on top of my mask just because I'm extra like that. Um, just give it a glass like look. I love that. That's just, that's just my tea. And then I'm just going to spray my face down with some Fix Plus just to give it even more of a skin like um, finish. Take the um, powdery look away, even though I don't look powdery, which is why she's going to give me further more of a skin like finish. Dry it down, and you're pretty much done. Fix my little bang. Not the bang. The bang. So, yeah, I'm just playing around with my hair. And this is pretty much the look. Um, I'm going to add some earrings just to give it an extra little pizzazz. Girl, I'm almost done. Here you come with these timers. But yeah. Yo, I'm sorry my video is ghetto today, but I got to go. I got a meeting to do. All right, y'all. That wraps up my quick little zoom look. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if this look works for you. You can use this for your next zoom meeting, your next interview, or if uh, somebody who did not have a FaceTime appointment tries to call you. Girl, you just do this real quick. Look cute. All right, y'all. I got to go. See you in my next video. Bye. Hey.